Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. To my subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back. And to the newbies, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below because you will not miss a video from me. In this video, I will be using mostly Wet n Wild products. They actually collaborated with me on this video and I'm super excited. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and you enjoyed it. I already color corrected my face. I use a neutral colored concealer. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box for you guys. As you can see, my pony <laughs> is out today. I'm gonna throw on some hair later in the video to like slay for you guys. So the first thing I use on my face, I use the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. And this is what it looks like. It's like a lotion consistency and it says it's supposed to refine your pores, fill in fine lines, it's supposed to brighten your complexion and even out your skin tone. It just gives you a really nice base for your foundation to like glide on. And then I went ahead and color corrected as you guys already know. So now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is a new foundation that they recently launched. This is supposed to help eliminate white particle reflection meaning it's not supposed to give you flashback at all when you take photos i will test that out later in the video and this was actually tested under seven lighting conditions with a whole bunch of different smartphones with and without flash and all that good stuff so this is supposed to be a very photo friendly foundation so yesterday I did attempt to film this video and it didn't work out so well. I only used the color Mocha and I used a red color corrector and that was just way too much red for my skin tone. So I decided to give it another go today. Currently right now this foundation and all the photo focus products are available online. Shortly they will be available in stores. Just check the description box, I will have all the information listed down there. This foundation though does dry very quickly. So I would uh, advise to actually blend very fast. So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild like flat top brush on this side. This foundation does have a smell to it, but it's not um, unfamiliar because most foundations, like a lot of foundations actually have like a paint type of smell. So that doesn't really bother me and after a while it'll go away. I look so crazy right now. I'm gonna just take my beauty blender and just pat the foundation in. It's definitely not full coverage. Uh, this is how the foundation looks. I had to push up my headband a little bit but look at my five head like. Let me just zoom you guys in. So this is how the foundation is looking right now. Like I said, it's about a medium coverage. You can still kind of see some of my dark spots coming through. But honestly, since this is like an everyday type of look, I really don't mind that. And I feel like my dark spots feel like freckles. I don't know why that is. But I embrace it, and you should too. Oh, and by the way, I keep this thing on my head so that my baby hairs just lay down. They tend to play me at times, so I need this band on my head. And it also helps me not get makeup on my edges. Now I'm going to use this brow brush by Wet n Wild and I'm going to brush up my eyebrows to get them ready to actually fill in. So next what I'm going to use is this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Universal Stencil Kit. So I'm going to go in with this tiny, tiny angled brush and I'm going to use this um, powder here. And I'm just going to lightly go in and go on top of my gel just to set it and just make it a little bit darker. So now that I'm looking in the mirror at this foundation, it's very matte. And next time I use this foundation, I'll most likely use a hydrating, like a really, really super hydrating primer because right now it's just really dry. But I'm guessing like later in the day, as I wear this foundation, it should become more, I don't know, like 
dewy like skin like you know what I mean I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild dark cocoa concealer this is their photo focus concealer and this is supposed to have no flashback as well it's tested under the same conditions as the foundation so I'm just gonna place the doe foot applicator underneath my eyes I usually go in with my eyes after this, but I'm just really excited to try this concealer right now. I'm going to put some on the bridge of my nose, and this just highlights my face. I'm going to put some on my cupid's bow and some on my chin. And this also gives me a little bit more coverage that the foundation didn't give me. Look at that. I barely even did anything, and it blended out. Wow. I am impressed with this concealer right now. I barely like touched it and it blended really easily. And I would say this gives me about medium coverage. Which I like under the eye. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything underneath the eye. I am super impressed with this right now. So I'm just gonna blend my concealer up to my forehead. Let's blend this out. Blend this out. And this concealer does give you a little bit of time to play with. Like, you don't have to rush and blend it out. It doesn't set right away. Um, and it seems very hydrating underneath the eye, which is good. So now I'm going to apply this Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. And this is in Brazing Black. And the applicator on this is very cool because it has like a little ball on the end. And it makes the mascara very easy to apply and it does grip a lot of my lashes this mascara has fibers in it as well to make your lashes have a lot more volume and a lot longer as well and I think that's pretty cool especially like from wet and wild which is like a cheaper brand period you know so now I'm just gonna throw on my eyelashes really quick so now I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the color Cocoa. And I'm going to use this today as my bronzer. And this Photo Focus Pressed Powder is also supposed to do the same thing as the concealer and the foundation. It's not supposed to give you flashback and it's tested under the same lighting conditions. So I want to show you guys this Lash Renegade Mascara on the bottom of my lashes and how it works. So I'm just going to use the end of it and just get right underneath my lash line and as you can see it's like getting every lash and it's making them so long and full this mascara is really good now I'm gonna go in with this wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder and I've been using this so much lately and I'm gonna use this wet n wild fan brush to apply it whoa like I did one little dot and you can already see it. Holy crap, this sandwich is really good. And this highlighter speaks for itself. Now I'm just going to take some on the bridge of my nose right here. And this fan bridge is very precise. And it gets right in the area that you place the product. I'm not used to it, but I like it. So I'm just going to put a little bit, just a little bit, on my chin area if you are oily don't do this because this makes you look a little bit more oily I'm just gonna put some on my cupid's bow so now I'm gonna go ahead and set and spray my face I'm gonna use this setting spray from wet n wild this is their photo fo focus all day wear setting spray and I'm going for more of a dewy look so I'm gonna kind of OD on the setting spray <laughs> oh <coughs> Ooh, and that made the foundation look very nice. Like, look at that. Oh my god. I feel like that setting spray really transformed this foundation into more of like a dewy skin-like finish. What do you guys think? 
Now for lipstick. I'm going to go in with this new liquid catsuit matte liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my lips. The applicator. I really like the applicator. I can tell already. Yep, it makes it very easy to apply. So I'm about to lay my hair really quick and I'll be right back. So now that my hair is done, I'm going to go in and try and test out this photo focus technology that Wet n Wild claims that their foundation, their concealer, and their powder has. So I'm going to just take a quick picture with my cell phone and turn the flash on and see how the picture comes out. So this is the photo I just took. There's no flash anywhere on my face, which is very impressive, especially for a drugstore foundation. It looks very good in photos. Very, very, very good. Just to test the photo focus technology even further, I'm gonna try it without my ring light on. I've already turned it off and I'm gonna take another flash photo. So this is the photo I just took without my ring light on. Still no flash whatsoever. I'm still looking very nice and I must say this foundation concealer and powder photographs very well. Do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and on your way out don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys in the next video.